There's nothing quite like a day at the beach. Whenever we come here, we enjoy many things, like the sound of the waves, the smell of the salt air, and the feeling of sand between our toes. We also enjoy seeing the many creatures that call the shore and the sea home. We may spot pelicans, dolphins, or sea turtles while relaxing at the beach. There's also a good chance you might see a crab, like this Atlantic ghost crab. Measuring about five centimeters wide, this small invertebrate is a very common sight on Atlantic beaches from Massachusetts to Brazil. It is just one of the many invertebrates commonly referred to as crabs. Other thusly named species include blue crabs, king crabs, hermit crabs, porcelain crabs, and horseshoe crabs. I'm Donald, and this is my assistant, Bear. Today we will embark on our crabbiest adventure yet to learn just what makes a true crab. True crabs first appeared around 150 million years ago during the Jurassic period. They belong to the infraorder Brachiura, which means short-tailed in Greek. They are found in every ocean in the world, as well as in freshwater and on land, including rainforests far from the nearest beach. Some species even make their homes in dark caves. All crabs, whether true or false, are invertebrates, or animals without backbones. It is estimated that around 97% of all living creatures are invertebrates. True crabs are grouped into invertebrates commonly called crustaceans, which often have a hard shell and several pairs of legs. Shrimp and lobsters are other well-known crustaceans. Now many of the world's false crabs are also classified as crustaceans, but there is one that falls into a completely different group. Horseshoe crabs may look like crustaceans, but they actually belong to the Calicerata, which are more closely related to spiders. This makes the horseshoe crab a very false crab indeed. Next, true crabs will typically have a flat, broad shell called a carapace, which protects the head and inner organs. In contrast, hermit crabs lack these protective coverings. Despite being crustaceans, their abdomens are very soft and vulnerable. Hermit crabs will instead scavenge the empty shells of mollusks, such as snails, for protection. Therefore, the hermit crab definitely belongs on the list of false crabs. Another way to identify true crabs is by the number of legs. True crabs have five pairs of legs. The front pair are modified into claws, which are also called pincers, or keely, and are used for many purposes. Crabs will eat their food using their claws, much like we use our hands. Many crab species have one claw that is larger than the other. This is an example of asymmetry. Males tend to have more asymmetry than the females because the males use their large claws to show off their fitness to potential mates and fight off rivals. The claws of a crab can really pack a pinch. Perhaps the most striking claws can be found on the male fiddler crab. There are at least 100 species of fiddler crabs, and you can easily recognize the males by their greatly enlarged, oversized claws. A common misconception about crabs is that they can only walk sideways. In reality, they can also walk forwards and backwards. However, because their bodies are flat and wide, the shoulder joint of each leg can only move sideways. This is why they can move much more quickly when they walk sideways. The Atlantic ghost crab, for example, can reach speeds of up to 10 miles per hour. This is a blue crab, which is very important to many commercial fisheries. Its two back legs have been modified into flippers. This is a common feature among many aquatic crabs, as it helps them swim through the water. So five pairs of legs, four of which are used for walking, are key to recognizing true crabs. On the other hand, or should I say claw, 
two other groups of similar crustaceans have one less pair. King crabs and porcelain crabs have four pairs of legs. Like true crabs, they each have a pair of claws, but three pairs of legs, rather than four, are used for walking. Crabs also feature two pairs of antennae, which are also called feelers. True crabs have two pairs, both of which are between the eyes, although one pair is often very well hidden. In contrast, false crabs have their antennae on either side of their eyes. Crabs are amazing creatures, aren't they? When you stop to take a closer look at them or any other animal, you'd be surprised when you find out there is much more about them than you may have realized. Remember that there is more about the wild world to discover every day. Never stop exploring. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on our next adventure.